Hi students, welcome to my engineering graphics class. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. In this video, isometric projection 6, we draw a cut pyramid. A cut pyramid. The question is, a hexagonal pyramid, 30 mm side, 70 mm axis, stand on HP on its base with an edge of base parallel to BP. I repeat, a hexagonal prism, 30 mm side, 70 mm axis, stand on HP on its base with a side of base parallel to BP. This is cut by a cutting plane, inclined cutting plane and part is removed, top apex is removed. The cutting plane is making 30 degrees to HP and passes through the midpoint of the axis. The top piece is removed. You have to draw the, the, the isometric view of the cut pyramid. You can say truncated pyramid. Agreed? It is extremely necessary that you draw the plan and elevation and the cutting plane first. Actually, it is part of a sectional solid problem. Draw plan and elevation, then cut it, mark the sectional plan. After drawing that, you have to draw the isometric view. That's a difficulty. So it's time consuming. You need good practice. Look at this. I draw an XY line. I draw a hexagon. Hexagonal pyramid. I am drawing the plan and duration of a hexagonal pyramid. A, B, C, D, E, F, O, P. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, O dash, P dash. I am actually drawing them in front of you. To give you a feel of the drawing, I can easily draw all the things and then take a video and show you. But I want you to see how I am drawing and to gain confidence. Agreed? I want you to see how I am drawing and to gain confidence instead of completely drawing and showing it to you. Okay. So this is the plan and derivation of the hexagonal pyramid. Now we have to cut it. This is the center of the axis. And this is the cutting plane. V. Where all does it cut? Cut. A O at 1 dash, B O at 2 dash, C O at 3 dash, D O at 4 dash, E O at 5 dash, and E F O at 6 dash. Agreed? Drop them to the plan. You have to get them to the plan, otherwise, some distance will not be available. Very careful. One, two, six, three, five, four. I'm not joining them. If you want to join, you can join and hatch it, become a part of the hex section of solids. But to draw this, you need not. You need not uh, join them. Okay. Now, I draw I draw the rectangle. Which is this rectangle? This rectangle contains the hexagon. Since you have already used up to 6, I am using 7, 8, 9, 10. Reproduce, reproduce the rectangle. Seven, eight, ten, nine. Parallelogram. Vertical line to seven will not pass through nine. Parallelogram. Okay. 
Inside this, what you do? You locate the six points of the hexagon. A, B, C, D, E, F. Agreed? Agreed? Now, locate these points. Call this M, N, Q, R. And let me tell you, there are many, many ways of doing it. I am using one method, one te technique. Okay. Locate this M, N, Q, R in this uh, 7, 8. 7, 8. First M and Q, R. I am locating M and Q, R. Somewhere here is M. Somewhere here is N. Some more distance away is Q. And somewhere here is very close to C or almost right of C is R. Agreed? Draw vertical lines through them and draw go this much distance up. Or, or let, let me do this. Take this distance, take this distance and go inside. Or rather draw this line. Go up to the center. This point. Then go this much distance up. What is this? This is one. A little bit more. One. Draw this line. Travel this much and travel same distance back and then go. Go up by this distance from both points. Two, six. Look from Q, draw this line. Go this much distance, come back that much distance. Go up. How much? This much. What is this? 3, 5. Go inside. Go up. What distance? This distance. You get 4. 4. Connect. Connect one, two, three, four, five, six. One to two, two to three, three to four, four to five, five to six, six to one. Connect any CD. I am not getting this side, uh, okay, I will manage it, this three I will uh, make further insert. Four, so that uh, it will fall inside, or if at all it fall outside, it will come something like this. Okay, only this line, only this line is not in good uh, shape, but this is dotted. You can see the first term of the pyramid. I will repeat what I said, uh, what I did here. 
I located M and Q R by extending these lines. I located M and Q R. Then I went inside through M. This distance is this distance. Draw a line. Go up to the center because this point comes at the center. From the center, take this distance up. Go. Up. That point is okay. From this, there is a line. Draw that line N. Take this much distance and uh, that is same as this. Go inside. Get a point. Get a point. From these two points, go. Up. How much you have to go? Up? This much. You get two and six. Two. Six through Q draw a line. This distance is equal to this distance. Mark it off here, here. Go. Up. How much you have to go? Up? This much distance. Three and five. Ah, go inside. Go inside. How much? Center. Center. Go. Up. How much? This much. Four. You have got the cut. Hexagonal pyramid. As I said, very, very good question. An average student will take more than one hour to draw because this itself will consume a lot of time. Okay. Sometimes, if you inscribe it in a complete box, that may sometimes reduce the confusion. I hope you understood it. I, I used to draw it by so many methods. This is okay. This time I prefer to use this method. I think it's okay. If you want, instead of this. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can mark these points here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that you can remember what are these points. Go up, go up from all those points. Not same distance, this distance, different distances. That's all. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 proje projected on the base. Go up by respective distance. Okay, I hope you understood. Thank you.